Hi, our mark list of 10 students uh, for diff different subjects, right? Now here I want to calculate various items here. The spark lines, the total mark, percentage, rank and also pass or fail and the status. So as you can see here, the total mark is 300. Uh, and the total subject 6 and 21 is the minimum pass mark. You have distinction, excellent and poor based on the percentage of mark. Hi, my name is Ramiz. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. First of all, we'll calculate this part. It's a small graphical representation of the mark list. So I have prepared a detailed uh, tutorial, which I have given a link in the description. For that, go to insert. After that, here there is a specific item uh, for smart line. Just click on the line. So now I need to select the range of cells. So I'm selecting all the mark. I want the spark line on, on I3, the column number I3. So it's already selected here. So press OK. Now I can mark the uh, values here based on the for top value, minimum value uh, or the marker. So I'm putting as mark in and dragging and drop in, applying and all the other remaining cells. Okay, so you have the representations here. Now I'm going to, I want to calculate the total mark. Use the formula equal to sum, S-U-M. You put sum here and then open the bracket. Select the all marks uh, available for the different subjects. Then close the bracket and then enter. So you get the total mark over here. So double tap and then apply in the remaining fields. Instead of that, you can use a sh uh, Excel shortcut, which is Alt equal. Then uh, if you click on any of the cell, then press Alt equal. It automatically selects the uh, cells before that. So I want to exclude the spark line cell. After that, press enter, you get this total sum. Now let's calculate the percentage mark. So percentage mark will be calculated based on the total uh, mark, which is 300. So before that, I need to change the cell format to percentage. So here you can make it as a percentage value because I need to show the percentage value here so uh, otherwise um, the value will be appearing and then you need to manually change the format cell okay uh, you, I'm using a formula equal to select the cell divided by 300 which is the total mark so which we, which will uh, bring up the percentage value for this um, uh, this student so I'm uh, I want to remove the dots here uh, the, the dec decimals and apply in all remaining cells so I hope you understand this process. Now, um, based on the marks, uh, if I change any of the mark, the percentage values changes here, right? So you can see it's automatically changes the percentage mark received uh, achieved by the each student. Now let's uh, let's we need to calculate the rank based on the uh, marks achieved by the students. I need to rank them. So for that, I'm using a formula equal to rank. Then select that cell. After that, comma then I need to uh, select the all the students details so that I need to rank them right so I need to apply the absolute reference here because I don't want to change the cell reference so you can apply it by pressing F4 I have prepared a detailed video on uh, uh, absolute reference you can find it in my description so after that you press the uh, descending or ascending uh, then uh, close the bracket and enter you get the rank here double tap and apply in remaining cells so you have the ranks of the uh, each students based on the values uh, the marks uh, obtained by the each student how um, if I change the uh, marks of the students the ranks will also uh, changes based on the total marks uh, achieved by each student so you can you can see it here how the marks are uh, uh, when I change the marks the total percentage and the ranks changes here right now you know uh, we have explained earlier uh, minimum 21 marks required to pass to identify the student passed or failed i need to use the formula if then open the bracket since there are multiple items i need to use the formula and and then open the bracket and select the self where there is mark starting then after that greater than uh, and i need to give the values 21 then comma uh, then after that select the next uh, cell and then greater than 21 now i noted that if a student get 21 mark also consider as pass so i need to apply equal to in front uh, after the greater than sign so uh, i'm applying here equal to and also in the next field so uh, after that then put the comma then uh, select the next cell then similarly greater than equal to 21 then comma select the next cell uh, Similarly, select the other cells and uh, uh, put greater than and equal to 21. 
then comma again an excel the english language uh, greater than equal to 21 then computer uh, will say uh, comma after that select the cell greater than equal to 21 after that um, close the bracket now so next we need to define the output so if it's greater than 21 i want to say pass then if not then comma then we need to put fail uh, put it in inverted comma then after that close the bracket and an enter so here you get it as fail because one of the subject he failed so double tap and apply in the remaining uh, cells so if i change the values here and the pass or fail automatically changes so if i'm changing from 15 to 22 it become pass similarly the other field also if i change it it's automatically uh, the values percentage and ranks also or, or changes okay now next i need to calculate the status so how you calculate the status based on the percentage of mark achieved by the student so if uh, greater than 75 then i'm considering as a distinction and if it's uh, greater than 50 then excellent if less than 50 then poor so for that i need to use the formula if equal to if then open the bracket then after that select the cell the percentage of mark then after that i'm saying greater than uh, 75 percentage right if it's greater than 75 percentage then i want to bring up the result distinction put in inverted comma then uh, type distinction so once the marks are more than 75 percentage then this the, the it will show us distinction uh, close the inverted comma after that comma then i'm not applying the, the next formula i'm applying if again it's called nested if if inside an if right because i need to apply the second criteria select the percentage of mark again uh, after that greater than 50 percentage then put comma then after that inverted comma then say excellent double inverted comma and then comma then if it's not excellent if it is not a distinction then the next result should be uh, poor so excel will look at one if it's 17 more than 75 percentage then it say it's distinction if more than uh, otherwise it will go to next uh, rule then let's say if greater than 50 then it become excellent otherwise poor double tap and apply in the remaining cells see here you get the uh, various uh, status of each student see if i change the values the total mark and the ranks and the status and the pass or fail criteria also changes here uh, again I'm, I'm changing few of the other values to show you that how uh, any change in the numbers impacts the remaining fields which we have calculated right so also you can highlight the cells the number of the marks obtained by the students based on criteria which is called conditional formatting so based on like using a conditional formatting we can change how the values are appearing in the table for that what you need to do is to select the area where the marks are there so we have uh, six subjects so select the uh, area where the marks are there after that go to conditional formatting under home tab right click on the conditional formatting then after that select the first option and press instead of greater than value i need to use the less than then here less than so here i need to give define a value i'm putting 21 because our criteria is 21 less than 21 it will be uh, fail so um, fill up the color different color coded in red and then so that it appear uh, well and good let's try and change some of the value uh, and see whether it changes is appearing or not now the value changes to less than 21 and it become red see i hope you understand uh, the whatever we have discussed today uh, i don't know whether you have noticed uh, there's an issue on this so what is the issue please uh, comment if you found find the issue or otherwise continue watching the video then you'll understand what is the exactly what is the issue so 
the issue is if the student is fail then also it's showing excellent here right see here if it's fail and then it's distinction which is wrong right if the student is fail that means uh, it need to be a fail instead of distinction or excellent so in, in order to do that what i need to do is to insert another if formula here in front of the existing formula then say uh, if then after that select the cell the pass or fail then equal to type pass then inverted comma then comma then if pass then then only this formula need to work otherwise i don't need this then after that comma then inverted comma and say fail now it makes sense right so after that put the comma and type fail and uh, put in an inverted comma fail fail uh, double inverted comma close it and then close the bracket uh, double close the bracket because we open two brackets then after that end uh, so it shows distinction pass here double tap and apply in the remaining see the uh, the values changes right now instead of excellent it's showing fail here right which is the right option before it was showing excellent even though the student has failed in one of the subject so we have adjusted the formula now the formula give you the exactly what is the correct status of each student i hope you enjoy this video please share with your friends and and colleagues and also uh, please subscribe my youtube channel now let's see the ranks are appearing in different order so i need to put it in a proper order for that i, I need to apply here apply in a proper order in ascending order and expand the selection it's automatically changes into the order but here the numbering format need to be changed so i said one two and then drag and drop in the remaining cell so it, sh it looks perfect and you can work on the same sheet i'm attaching the same sheet on the description thank you